If you want to know more about the corporate world, you should definitely watch our picks for the best business movies. Number 10. Monet. Yeah, right. Tons of it. Barbarians at the Gate is a biographical comedy drama film directed by Glenn Jordan. Exploring the world of big business, this true story of one of the largest leveraged buyouts in history follows F. Ross Johnson, the CEO of a food and tobacco company, attempting to buy his company. But other major players become involved, which leads to clashes with Johnson. As the bid rolls in and the others make their savvy moves, can Johnson win out this battle of aggressive business tactics? All we have to do is just stay cool until Ed gets the test results on premieres. You watch. You just watch. Those babies are going to turn the whole company around. Number nine. Your name's Levine? Yeah. You call yourself a salesman, you son of a bitch? Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Directed by James Foley and released in 1992. The real story behind the world of sales. The film follows the lives of four real estate salesmen and the tricks they are willing to play to get ahead in the corporate world. When the company sends a trainer to fire all but the two best salesmen, everyone must fight amongst each other to reach the top and save their jobs. A-I-D-A, attention, interest, decision, action. Attention, do I have your attention? Interest, are you interested? I know you are, because it's fuck or walk. You close or you hit the bricks. Decision, have you made your decision for Christ? An action. Number eight. The Banker, directed by George Nolfi. Focusing on two truly revolutionary businessmen, Bernard Garrett and Joe Morris, who have the ultimate goal of taking down the racist establishment of the 60s, The Banker is not only incredibly powerful, but one of the smartest takes on business movies in the last few years. When their success is threatened by the federal government, a real game of chess begins. We can make a lot of money. We make a lot of money now. You gonna stand there with a straight face and tell me there's a business argument to do this? This is social activism, Bernard. Plain and simple. There's plenty of other ways to do that. Number seven. If you were me and Standard offered to buy what you had for a million dollars, why? So why? There Will Be Blood is a 2007 epic period drama film written and directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. This is a story of family, religion, hatred, oil, and madness. Daniel Plainview, an oil prospector in the early days of the business, moves to oil-rich California to con local landowners into selling him their valuable properties for a pittance. But not everyone is pleased to see him as tensions build between Daniel and preacher Eli Sunday that threatens both their lives. I'm a family man. I run a family business. This is my son and my partner, H.W. Plainview. We offer you the bond of family that very few oil men can understand. Number six. I'm willing to bet my career on Michael Jordan. Oh, come on, man. Air is a biographical sports drama film directed by Ben Affleck. The film explores how Nike's basketball shoe division was struggling in 1984 due to low sales and follows the great gamble of an unconventional team. When marketing VP Rob Strasser and CEO Phil Knight assign talent scout Sonny Vaccaro to find a new spokesperson for their shoes, they embark on a thrilling business adventure to sign the generational talent Michael Jordan, who has a preference for Adidas. Okay, it's risky. When you were selling sneakers out of the back of your Plymouth, that was risky. It took balls. I mean, that's why we're all here. Don't change that now. Don't... Number five. Well, we have a plan to piggyback on the unused bandwidth of the UHF spectrum to create an all-in-one mobile device. Blackberry is a biographical comedy drama film directed by Matt Johnson. As sharply funny as it is wittily written, Blackberry retells the actual story of two beat-down visionaries on their journey to invent the world's first smartphone, the Blackberry. But what can rise to fame can also fall from grace like a comet. In this unconventional tale of modern business, you become first-hand witnesses to a story that shows the dangerous speed at which innovators race along the information highway. Sir, have you seen Star Wars? No. So, okay, picture a pager, a cell phone, and an email machine all in one thing. Number four. 
Steve Jobs, directed by Danny Boyle. The story takes us behind the scenes of the digital revolution to paint a portrait of Steve Jobs at its epicenter. It unfolds backstage at three iconic product launches, ending in 1998 with the unveiling of the Apple iMac. However, his drive to revolutionize technology is sacrificial and you are left to judge how this impacted him and those close to him. The Time article said your Apple stock was worth $441 million. And I wanted to ask you how you felt about that. Well, I feel like Apple stock has been dramatically undervalued. This would be a good time to get in. Number three. Money itself isn't lost or made, it's simply uh, transferred from one perception to another, like magic. Wall Street is a 1987 drama film directed by Oliver Stone. Greed is good. This is the memo of this incredibly tense attempt to give depth to the never-ending affairs of Wall Street. Gordon Gekko is one of the most successful players when it comes to money business. When the young and hungry broker Bud Fox gets himself into Gekko's inner cycle, we witness how his sense of ethics is raped, murdered, and buried for money and greed. Greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Greed clarifies, cuts through, and captures the essence of the evolutionary spirit. Number two. You are a leech, Ray. You are a professional leech. You know what I came up with, Mac? A concept. I came up with the concept of winning. The Founder is a 2016 biographical comedy drama film directed by John Lee Hancock. Franchise, franchise, franchise. This is the brilliant idea that makes struggling salesman Ray Kroc a famous millionaire after meeting Mac and Dick McDonald. Being impressed by their fast-paced strategy to sell burgers, we witness how one smart man turns two brothers' innovative fast-food eatery into the biggest restaurant business in the world with a combination of ambition, persistence, and ruthlessness. I want to take the future. I want to win. And you don't get there by being some aw shucks, nice guy, sap. There's no place in business for people like that. Business is war. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. It does get all the corners that my sponge mop won't get. All those crannies where my kids spill their juice. I really like it. Can we buy it? Take it easy, Christy. I'd see that movie. I'd buy the goddamn DVD. And, you know, if the Academy didn't send them to me for free. You know, you guys ought to think about designing a cigarette to be released simultaneously with the movie. Sector sixes. No one's ever done it with a cigarette. Having a beer with your boss. Some of you are under 21. Some of us aren't under 21, so if you want to grab a cold one with me, I'm happy to do that with you. I will not be grabbing a cold one with you. You get high? I don't get high. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. Number one. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? You? A billion dollars. The Social Network is a 2010 biographical drama film directed by David Fincher and written by Aaron Sorkin. In 2003, Harvard undergrad Mark Zuckerberg begins work on a new concept that eventually turns into the global social network known as Facebook. Extracted from multiple sources, the film captures the emotion of the first intoxicating days of a phenomenon that now modifies the culture of our world. Mark Zuckerberg is the youngest billionaire in history, but for this entrepreneur, success leads to both personal and legal complications. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.